Hello, fabulous Libra. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of May 2018. Looking at life and love, I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is, and it truly is amazing. It's a big month. Look, any month can be amazing, it can be big. A lot of it is about how we use the energies in the sky, and even any moment can be amazing as well. But then once in a while, like really once in a while, you come across a big month like this, a month where just big shifts are happening that are going to speak to the collective, but also speak to your individual journey as well. And we are in the midst of such big time. So what's big? Well, the first already happened as we finished off last month. What happened is Chiron. Chiron changed signs and Chiron now has moved into your opposite sign. It's going to spend a few months there. will retrograde out of that part of the sky uh, later on this year. And then next year we'll retrograde back in for a nice long stay for years to come. Now, one thing you should notice as you're starting this month that just the workplace and the type of work you're doing and the people you're encountering in the workplace, they can be just a lot nicer, a lot calmer. It might not feel as much of an emotional experience having to interact with coworkers or immediate supervisors or clients or customers. The work as well may feel that much more like you're able to go into a flow and not necessarily have to examine it as much. So that should be very liberating. But what this also means is that now we have this energy of the healer moving into your opposite sign and it is going to be through relationships through one-on-one -on -one partnerships that you are going to find yourself aware of where deep and meaningful healing needs to take place within you it's like i, I think it's uh you know it's based in psychological principles of course and i know that freud never used the term baggage okay but um we can say that Chiron in some ways represents uh, an energy that comes in to help you put down your baggage, helps you to release the burdens, helps you to understand where it is that you've been carrying whatever emotion it is that is not serving you anymore in this moment. And this truly allows us, this spiritual healing, this psychological healing, truly allows us to be in the present moment and live that much more fully. And it is through love and partnerships that you are gonna to start to become aware of these lessons. You may have to bring a healing presence to partnership or have others be that presence in your life and attract particularly healing types of people in the years to come. And so if you're open to meeting someone new, this can be a very interesting energy. As I said, attracting healers, having to bring a healing energy, and just finding yourself more aware of the emotional dynamics playing out within you as you are interacting with others. But the good thing is here that it's like work you know that you're ready to do on a soul level, work you know that you're called to do at this time, and so the willingness is there, which means the opportunities for relationships are gonna be there as well. For those of you in an established bond, this can be a time as well of feeling that sense of needing to heal more deeply within yourself or feeling that your partner as well uh, and you are being asked to be that healing presence for your partner so this can be very powerful in established bonds and if there have been any ongoing patterns that maybe you haven't been so conscious of but maybe don't necessarily come from the most enlightened place within you or within them this is where the determination to actually heal and evolve the relationship is going to come in so if that wasn't big enough the other big thing happening this month in the middle of the month is that Uranus will leave your opposite sign. Now, again, this is going to be for a few months. Later on this year, we'll retrograde back uh, into your opposite sign, and then next year, we'll leave for good. So the better part of the next seven years, you are going to have no more Uranus in your opposite sign. In fact, it'll be many, many decades to come. This truly tends to be once in a lifetime that Uranus moves through a particular sign for most people um, because Uranus does take about 86 years to move all the way around the zodiac. So, I mean, I think this is gonna be a huge exhale in some ways. It's gonna be a shift in your relationships. Again, the love stuff is coming up here because Uranus leaves a love part of your sky. So I think you're going to 
love this it's just going to feel a lot more stable in the love area but also any insights you've made any gains you've made whether personally or with another person now comes the time thanks to chiron that you're motivated to do the deeper work and the inner work so that it actually counts for something all the freedom and liberation that you've gotten all the insights and self that you've gotten through your interactions and relationships well now you're going to make sure that you get the deeper layer of what relationships can grant us which ultimately is to see ourselves more lovingly so Uranus is going to move into a new part of the sky. We've also got a new moon on the same day in the same part of the sky. And this new part of the sky has to do with a few different things. It has to do with deeper intimacy. So again, with Chiron in the opposite sign, with Uranus in this position, that deeper intimacy, that deeper self-knowledge starts to be made aware of. And you've also got in this part of the sky, a sense of change, profound change, like psychological regeneration, physical regeneration can also happen here as well and this part of the sky also has to do with your relationships with financial institutions so you are about to evolve your relationships with those uh, institutions now with the new moon in this part of the sky it's not just going to be this larger energy but it'll come up very immediately and it'll come up to your awareness this is a very positive new moon it is speaking in supreme harmony with Pluto speaking in harmony with mars as well so i do think you're going to feel very empowered at this time with exactly these uh, issues i mentioned things like uh big money right wealth understanding wealth more deeply making moves towards attracting large sums of money personal transformation you're feeling very empowered a very in touch with an authentic voice within you and willing to live in accordance to it these are all beautiful uh blessings at this time thanks to this new moon now if all that wasn't enough mars enters shadow now a little bit later this year will go retro so we are in the mars retrograde season in the middle of the month mars enters shadow this is very exciting as well so do pay attention to what comes up for you now mars is going to retrograde in two different parts of your sky it's going to retrograde through the very bottom of your sky having to do with home and family of origin and it is also going to move into right around that new moon is going to move into a part of the sky that has to do with heart and flirtation and romance and fertility and children uh, so it does look like these are areas that you are going to be paying a lot of attention to are going to be getting a lot of your energy in the months ahead um, as we end the month we've got a full moon too now not as big as exciting as these bigger energies but important nonetheless this full moon is happening right at the end of the month it's taking place in a part of the sky that has to do with siblings cousins and neighbors so these particular people are going to be getting your attention now these types of people may be wanting to help you in some way or empower you in some way mars is speaking in harmony with this full moon and of course it's always up to you to decide what kind of help or insights or that you want to get from these people at the very least you may be spending time with these particular types of people and having sort of conversations around all this upcoming mars retrograde stuff uh, having conversations around children around romance around creativity uh, what's also important with this part of the sky is that it has to do with expression and how it is that you are expressing yourself in the world and expressing your unique voice and this is a full moon that may very well get you in touch with just that what I love about this month for you I mean it's got to be how much love is going to change for you but it is just a taste it is just a taste and this is really part of some deeper inner work and the stage is being set now for you to go through a transformation and the taste that you get now i think that you're going to love i think it's going to be the kind that's going to show you some truth about yourself and the thing about the truth is is that when you align yourself with it it's actually quite beautiful well, I've got a lot more to tell you because I created special horoscopes for these big three moves happening this month. Chiron changing signs, Uranus changing signs, and the Mars retrograde season. So as this video is published on YouTube, those special horoscopes are available on my website, NadiaShaw.com. Now, if you are one of my superstars, you get unlimited access to special horoscopes. You get expanded weekly horoscopes every single week, exclusive to the superstars 
Squarespace, and so much more. That's at astrofabulous.com, and I look forward to meeting you there. Well, thank you so much for watching. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.